coach. Obviously, it's a, a tough day with the news that uh, Coach Bowden uh, suffered from a terminal illness. And if, if you've had some time to process it, do you mind sharing some thoughts that you might have? Uh, yeah, I haven't had time. I, it was just mentioned to me just a few minutes ago, and I, I love Coach Bowden and Ann, and uh, he was a uh, has been a mentor to me for many many years, and. Um, I always laughed with Coach. I said, I put you in the Hall of Fame because you beat us so many times that when that vote came down and um, what uh, he's changed so many lives and he's touched so many lives in coaching and as a player. And um, I just say thoughts and prayers are with he and the family. I love the boys and, and, and the brothers. And um, uh, thoughts and prayers are for him uh, and his family at this time. What does he mean to kind of fraternity and the history of college football. I, um, I said there's uh, five or six guys in, in my life that have picked up the phone every time I would ever call them and ask them a question. He's in that group. And then we had this Nike trip where a lot of us would go together and get to spend time together. So I'm one of the lucky ones that, that got to spend so much time with Coach uh, at the, a, a time where he was beating all of us. And uh, when uh, even with bowl games, I, I went to Tallahassee and said, Coach, you're winning all the bowl games. Why are you winning all the bowl games and the rest of us aren't? And he, he gave me a formula, and it's worked so well for us. And, and I'm, I mean, it's just it made sense after you sit and listen to him. And he'd go real slow, and he'd, he'd have his, his little country part. But if you just listen, the man knew what he was doing, and, and it was wonderful. And then uh, nobody's ever had um, – uh, a top four team, 14 straight years, and one national championship. So, I mean, nobody. And that's never going to happen again. So, uh, he, he's one of the best to ever do it, if not the best. And uh, I love the way he did it. Uh, the players that played for him love him. The coaches that, that coach for him, John Lilly on our staff, love him. Um, and I always told him when we played in Chapel Hill and we were four and they were one, he had that stool because he had a bad back. I said, Coach, my goal tonight is to get you off the stool. And he said, Oh, boy, it's going to be hard to get me off that stool. Uh, and then they beat us 20 to 3. So, uh, but again, thoughts and prayers. What a wonderful man uh, that has meant so much to me in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you.